Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel logic to life This time we are planning to learn Spring Cloud with Amazon's SQS. This will be a multi-part video series during which we will go through a little bit of theory and a lot more designing and hands-on. So without delaying it further, let's continue to the first section of this series, setting up an AWS SQS with default configuration using AWS Web Console. Before logging into the AWS console, let's go through some of the theory related to SQS. What is AWS SQS? It's Amazon's simple queuing service which provides a distributed message queuing service. SQS is intended to provide a highly scalable hosted message queue, which means you do not have to worry about the infrastructure behind the SQS. It is managed by Amazon. SQS guarantees at least one-time delivery of the message to a consumer. SQS has two flavor of queuing, FIFO, which is first in, first out, and non-FIFO, in which the ordering is not guaranteed. Both have their common and distinct features. How queuing mechanisms are used in software? A queuing mechanism is used when we require publisher subscriber model in our application. A publisher is the creator of a message and publishes the message on a messaging queue but directly does not care about the processing of the message. A subscriber on the other hand is responsible for receiving the messages from a queue and directly does not care from where these messages came on the queue. In some scenarios, there could be multiple publishers and multiple subscribers. This has to be designed very carefully within the context of functionality of a message. When to use queuing mechanism in your application? There could be multiple scenarios where you can use queuing mechanism. Below are four cases which I have seen at work. Triggering a long running process based on a message received from a publisher. Integrating with third party systems using publisher subscriber model where synchronous behavior is not desired. Decoupling any side task from main task, where you create an event when the main task is complete. During this series, we will try to design and demo at least one of the scenarios. It's time for us to log into AWS Management Console and create a new non-FIFO SQS with default configuration. On this screen, we will enter the queue name, and we'll select the standard queue which is the non-FIFO queue. And for demo purpose, I'm naming this as AWS YouTube Demo SQS. And we click configure queue. Here we're gonna leave it with default settings and simply create the queue. Once the queue is created, you'll see two things here. One is the URL, which is a fully qualified uh, uh, HTTP URL. And another is ARN, which is the Amazon resource naming URL. And here you can see that it is automatically hosted within Amazon AWS infrastructure. And it is followed by your account number and the queue name. So we did not we do not have to maintain the infrastructure behind this. This is all hosted and maintained by Amazon. With this, let's conclude our tutorial one, which was setting up an AWS SQS with default configuration. In our next demo video, we will be starting with tutorial two, where we will be setting up a Spring Boot Cloud app, Spring Boot Cloud app to send messages to AWS SQS. See. You